The internet is full of hacks and tips to achieve the perfect glow up. So I like to share my medically backed glow up routine and then dive into some of the most common trends and tools you've asked me about in the comments. Let's get started. Huge thanks to Life and for sponsoring this video. Be woo. Oftentimes posture is seen as a form of confidence. The best physical therapists in the world, the best orthopedic doctors in the world agree that having perfect posture doesn't really exist. There are unhealthy postures if held for long periods of time. So instead of seeking perfect posture, instead focus on mobility and strengthening. If you're sitting for long periods at a time, program water or bathroom breaks to help you snap out of that sitting funk. And please, please avoid those posture correctors that we see for sale on TikTok. While they can be used if a medical professional recommends them for very specific cases, I generally don't recommend them because the second you take them off, you're either gonna go back to the same posture or potentially even worse because you've weakened your stabilization muscles, making you worse than when you first started. We can't talk glow up without mentioning nutrition. When you're thinking about what types of foods to eat, focus on whole foods. Fruits, vegetables, vitamin-rich foods with lean sources of protein, that will help you get those antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and proteins that are necessary to keep your body looking good. We also have to think about hydration. Drinking water at the correct amounts will help your skin look better. It will help your skin color look better because your circulation will improve. Also, when you're dehydrated, you're hurting your metabolism, therefore burning less calories, potentially leading to more weight gain. And there's so much information about the right number of glasses of water you have to drink. There's no perfect answer here because everyone's bodies are different, our activities are different, the temperature that we're exposed to is different. The rule that I I give to most of my patients is just to look at their urine. If it's pale straw colored urine, odds are you're in a good spot. If I could bottle the benefits of exercise, I would become a trillionaire. You just think about the mood boosting, libido boosting, the social connections that come from fitness. It's truly one of these miraculous activities that help on almost all fronts. Mix up resistance and cardio training, that's gonna give you the best results because resistance training helps work muscle, helps prevent injury, helps keep our bones strong, and then cardio helps keep our lungs and heart strong. We're in a sleep pandemic. When you're functioning on five hours of sleep consistently, you're functioning with a weakened immune system, less creativity, and worse appearance. Those bags under your eyes, the redness in your eyes, your skin is suffering. Literally, when you sleep seven to nine hours a night, consistently, the same hours per night, that's an important, tidbit there, you're actually improving circulation to your skin. You're getting repair of collagen overnight. If you constantly skimp on those hours, your skin will suffer. Become neat. And I'm not talking about organizing your desk. I'm talking about non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And what it really means is without exercising, how much caloric burning are you doing? Instead of taking the elevator, take the stairs. Instead of pushing a cart around the store, carry around your groceries in a bag. Instead of going through the car wash, wash your car yourself. Remember, the old mantra of calories in and calories out does have nuance, but it is still true. And with NEAT, you can drastically improve calories out. And then comes the very important part of wearing SPF. And that SPF, that sun protection, is so important if you're outside for many hours throughout the day. But that being said, being outdoors for 15 minutes in the morning while you have your coffee and having sun exposure is considered a healthy habit. If your skin is incredibly prone to getting sunburned or some exclusionary uh, situations there, maybe not. But for the general public, 15 minutes in the sun usually is not a bad thing and can even help with your vitamin D levels. Now, some people do want to get a tan, Please never a tanning bed. They're literally poison, not just for your skin, but also your health. The skin cancer rates are absolutely astronomical for people who just went to a tanning bed several times in their life. And if you're incredibly desperate for a tan, reach for a tinted moisturizer, put that on, much safer, much healthier for your skin. 
Hair is easy to get wrong. First of all, most people spend way too much time in way too hot showers, and that's already a problem. Next, you wanna try to avoid using two-in-one products. If you use that over a long period of time, what ends up happening is that conditioner actually ends up building up in your hair, and that can create a problem. When it comes to drying your hair, don't burn it. Use a moderate heat setting on your blow dryer. Use a heat protectant spray. And a lot of people will say, I'll just let it air dry. There's problems with just letting it air dry as well, especially if you go to bed right away with wet hair, that can lead to further hair breakage. I struggle with this, perspiration. I used to have a blow dryer near me at all times to blow dry my armpits in the middle of filming. Deodorant, that's gonna add scent. That's gonna try and remove some of the bacteria in the area, therefore reducing the smell. Antiperspirant, especially if put on the night before, can plug your sweat glands in your armpits, therefore decreasing things that bacteria can feed on, therefore again reducing smell. And finally, there are more extreme measures like getting Botox injected into your armpit sweat glands to stop sweating. Gotta take care of your pearly whites because a sexy mouth is a healthy mouth. So that means brushing and flossing your teeth. When you floss your teeth, you can get better results from underneath the gum, getting that gunk out of there, which will not only help with appearance by reducing gingivitis and inflammation of the gums, but also decreasing bad smell, that good old halitosis. Having a healthy mouth is part of any glow up, and I've been working on mine thanks to my Life & Wave toothbrush, who sponsored this video. Sometimes we get complacent and don't brush the exact correct way. Sometimes electric toothbrush motors are just too weak to overcome resistance. The evidence-based way most people are taught to brush their teeth is called the BAS technique. It focuses on the gunk that can accumulate at the bottom of the tooth under the gum line. This is targeted using a 45 degree angle while brushing. Why I really like the Life & Wave is that it supports this technique with an ultra-wide 60-degree oscillation and advanced vibration, meaning the brush can target those difficult-to-reach areas without messing with my sensitive gums. While it has a really powerful motor, it also has unique soft taper bristles, so my gums don't have to be hurt in the process. Its combined oscillation and vibration make it useful for people who have mobility issues or are recovering from an injury that makes getting those angles or movements difficult. The brush heads are easily replaceable and much more reasonably priced, which is such a relief considering how expensive some of those brushes can get. Click the link in the description to get your life and wave today so that your teeth can get the glow up they deserve. Now you've sent me many TikToks with all sorts of glow up tools. I ordered a lot of them, let's check them out. You might be wondering what I'm wearing and as am I, <laughs> because this is a red light mask. It also does blue light. And that is because the claim behind these red light at home masks is that the red light that you're being exposed to helps decrease wrinkles and the blue light can help with acne. The reason why they postulate that this works is that the red light can actually penetrate your skin somewhat deeper, therefore targeting fibroblasts, therefore having improved skin contour and decreased wrinkles. These at home treatments are weaker than what you would get at an office-based procedure, but uh, they generally are pretty safe as long as you're not getting any exposure into your eyes, so you have to be quite careful with that. And my recommendation would be to talk with a doctor if you're even considering using one of these things. But I will say on an evidence scale, one. We do see some evidence that if you use it consistently, there could be improvements in your skin. It's not enough for me to make this a full go. So for me, it's still a no. Just because it looks ridiculous, you have to use it for months at a time in order to see improvements. I don't wanna look like this. <laughs> This is potentially one of the more dangerous products, even though it looks so innocent. It's like, oh, I just put this around my waist and it's gonna help me look thinner. It's like, no, this is so incredibly problematic for a human body. This does not permanently change the way you look. When you take it off, your body will return to the way that it looked. By sweating where this thing is on, you're not reducing or spot reducing the amount of fat content there. Not only does it decrease your ability to breathe properly, it also creates problems in your GI system because it squishes all the organs together. It can also create a condition known as neuralgia paresthetica, where by compression of the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, you actually develop numbness and tingling in the front portion of your thigh 
size. Because it also supports your core, it will ultimately weaken your core and your pelvic muscles. So on an evidence level, this thing is not a zero. It's a negative three. And it's a full no for me. Brushing your skin with a dry brush. And some of the claims surrounding dry brushing are pretty tame and reasonable. Exfoliating your skin, getting rid of dead skin cells that are on the superficial part of your skin, increasing circulation to the area of your skin. So even though the medical literature on this is basically zero, I would still give this a go. As long as you don't have any pre-existing skin conditions that would cause your skin to flare up from a dry brushing, I kind of like it. You basically have this skin roller, if you will, that has really, really, really small, sharp points on it that basically create micro trauma to the skin. And the claim here is that it's gonna improve the appearance of your skin, it's gonna help with the texture of your skin, pigmentation issues, but also uniquely hair regrowth. In a single study, this plus minoxidil worked better than minoxidil alone. So perhaps this is creating those micro traumas that are allowing the medication to get in deeper or more effectively. We don't have the exact answer to that. I would just be very careful with products like this because it can make certain skin conditions worse. If you're using certain skincare products like retinol and microneedling, it can be really problematic. We don't recommend that. Here, I feel like this is just a recipe for disaster. So for me, this is still a no. Jade Roller and Gua Sha. Both are used to decrease puffiness in the face, improve circulation, and some people absolutely swear by these, keeping them cool, putting them in the refrigerator overnight, and first thing in the morning, rubbing them on their skin. Now, the evidence on this isn't great because no one's really doing randomized controlled studies with these tools, but logically, it makes sense that if you have some puffiness in the morning after laying flat at night, this can help aid your lymphatic system to decrease that puffiness, but a lot of people get benefit from the ritual of sitting with their jade roller, having that cool sensation on their face. While this doesn't have great evidence, it's not particularly harmful if you use it with light pressure. So for me, this one's kind of a, a no-go, meaning that it's in the middle of a no-go, a go-no, go-no, no-go. Cool sculpting. It's a treatment to spot reduce fat that actually has FDA approval. Many people are quick to think this is a weight loss treatment. This is not a weight loss treatment. This is a fat reduction in a specific area treatment. And the evidence shows that this product does work, especially over the course of multiple sessions. They are expensive, I might add. The potential is there to decrease the amount of fat in a given area by 10 to 20%. That sounds pretty significant, but let's take a second and think about this. If you have this much fat in a specific area, and you wanna decrease it by 10%, you pay several thousand dollars for multiple treatments, you go consistently, and now it has this much fat. Was it worth it? Well, that's for you to decide. There is actually a little bit of controversy here when it comes to risk. There exists a condition known as PAH, where actually there is a regrowth of more fat tissue, despite the fact that you destroyed some fat tissue with the cool sculpting. For me, given the fact that you get such a small decrease, that there exists potential risks in a situation like this, that it costs so much money that you have to go for multiple visits, despite the medical evidence being there, it's still a no. Jaw trainers that have gone absolutely viral on TikTok. The claim from these uh, jaw trainer experts, if you will, is that by chewing on these, sticking them in your mouth and repetitively chewing them, you can slim your jaw, give yourself a more contoured appearance, have a stronger jawline. But what they fail to realize is your jawline isn't really just determined by your masseter muscle. It's mostly determined by your bone structure. Another issue most people don't think about is when you overwork your jaw like that, sometimes you could develop grinding at night. Grinding will wear down your teeth, uh, cause all sorts of dental problems for you, including waking up with a terrible migraine. Most people who are pushing them are probably modifying their bodies either through surgery, injections, steroids. So don't think that every great jaw that you've seen is because of a jaw trainer like this. It's far from reality. Next, I don't, I, I don't understand what we have. Reusable facial slimming strap, reducing saggy skin, gorgeous V-up line. It's breathable and comfortable. It's not comfortable. And it's instant face lifting. And apparently it's the new upgrade. 
I think not only do I look ridiculous, this has no medical research, and it looks like underwear. I don't know, that makes it feel even weirder for some reason. The reusable facial slimming strap is a no. Is being a dentist harder than being a medical doctor or the other way around? Click here to see that video. Huge thanks to Lifen for sponsoring this video and as always, stay happy and healthy.